Hey everyone, welcome. Today we'll be looking at the student information that's available in My Student. So to do that, we'll click on the My Progress button and open a class in My Student. You'll see that My Students here are fictional, so our data is safe. Let's take a look at finding some information. You'll see that Tinkerbell here has a exclamation point icon next to her name, so there's something more we should know about her. If we right click on her name, this menu will open and we could check a student memo, but let's look at student info today and then in a moment, medical info. So a student information, it opens up in the contact window so we can see who to contact here for Tinkerbell. We can also check her demographics, see her schedule to see where her uh, classes are held, see if she has any special ed information or a 504 disability plan, check her test scores, or any other documents. And you'll note that she has a medical insignia here in the corner. So if we right click her name and choose medical info, it will tell us that Tinkerbell is allergic to pixie dust. Uh, this is true for any of the students. If you right click, you notice uh, Prince Charming here doesn't have medical notification. We can also see his student info with demographics, 504 plan and so on depending on what is applicable to Prince Charming. Now, if we want to aggregate this data into one place, we can come to reports and choose student listing. And that will generate this document, which as you can see, includes pretty much anything we could need to know. And some of these things we could turn off and on depending on what information we'd like to print. This is printable in either portrait or landscape mode. Uh, we can also take this and export a CSV file that would be used as a spreadsheet. And so I've already done that with this class. So let's open that up and see what's generated. So here's our student listing. If we open this up, it will open in Excel for me. Um, you'll need to specify the first time you open whether or not you want it to open in Excel. Uh, as you can see, uh, it generates basically the same columns as we saw in the student information listing. Uh, these columns can be stretched uh, to accommodate wider data. As uh, you can see, the names don't all fit here, so I can stretch those out. Uh, this can be sorted uh, or used in other ways. So thanks for taking a look at the information that can be generated in my student. Um, make sure that you check out the help files if you need more info. Thanks for joining us.